I'm Carol Jones, park planner for the city of Fayetteville, Arkansas. And we are here at Sweetbriar Park. This is a neighborhood park that's about four acres. It's located in the northeast quadrant of the city off of Old Missouri Road on Sweetbriar Road. And we are doing a natural channel uh, stream restoration. Uh, this is Neokoska Creek that runs behind us through the park. Um, there's a segment that is about 1,600 feet that we are restoring with this project. And our purpose today is to show you some of the before and some of the during, and later we can come back and show you the after of this great project. This is an eroded stream bank that we have. This is actually in Sweetbriar Park, the park property. And this is part of the problem and part of what we're trying to correct with this project. As you can see, we've lost a lot of bank due to the erosion during high flood and high uh, rain events. And when we lose bank and you lose the soil, you also have nutrients and things that are latched on to the soil particles that also go into the water. So this is a big water quality issue. Now this segment is a segment of the channel that has already been um, restored with using the natural channel approach. And what we do is we use, as you can see, this is a rock vein structure that has been uh, constructed. And we also use erosion matting. And you can't see so much under the matting, but that is a rock wood toe that was constructed from logs and large rocks and it provides habitat and it also stabilizes the toe of the bank so that when the uh, bank is sloped back to meet the existing grade, we can plant that with vegetation such as um, native grasses, native flowers, and uh, native bushes and trees. It's here to just have a gradual cascading effect. It looks better and it's stopping this from head cutting on up the the drainage area. Head cutting is not a term normal people understand. You slow it down here so it doesn't well, what scour will happen it deeper is, there. Because this elevation is different from this elevation, uh, the river will actually, the, the water coming through here will actually try to meet this elevation so it will keep eroding until it does. Thank How you. is that? Normal people understand that. It looks nicer too. And it's going to look like this, you know, all the way down basically. We're going to build this bank out structures also do is they divert the flow away from the eroded banks and they also slow the water down. Yeah, you can see the wood from this uh, wood toe, wooden rock toe a little bit better right here too. This wood, um, most of it came from Lake Fayetteville, the north side, uh, kind of the northeast corner of the park, the north of Botanical Garden. It was ice storm damage that we collected and brought to this site to reuse for this project. On that side, I think they're just going to make a um, bench for the water to spread out some. And there's going to be a couple of more structures in here, so. Well, see that piece of concrete sticking out? Mm -hmm. That's like a check dam. And he was hoping that they could just pull it out, but it didn't come out, so they're going to have to cut it out. The water and sewer guys are out here. They wanted to be out here when they started building this, building this bank out from, you know, on top of that because, mm -hmm. first of all, they wanted to be prepared if something happened. But they also just wanted to kind of oversee it and make sure that it didn't get damaged. It's had a concrete uh, pad poured on top of it to keep it covered because it keeps washing out. This is a coconut um, core mat. It's pretty expensive, but it's pretty durable. It's good for building these soil burritos. That's what these are on top of the wood toe structures. This stuff is also coconut matting that does not have netting in it. And it's just a lower grade, less expensive. And it's more the typical erosion control matting. You know, you can 
replace it and it keeps the uh, soil from washing down until you can get vegetation growing on it. Just come, we gotta dig Where this out and we gotta cut this off now, so. Yeah, yeah, we've got we've got some contingency. Yeah. We'll just have to get you to sign a little estimate for me to submit for the mayor to sign. Off okay. On. But it's all covered in the yeah. contract. No, so. these are just pieces that are sitting there and we're just sitting behind a pipeline here to help. <laughs> oh, I got you. Cause see, we're gonna have to come up. Where did they come from? They, they, was laying, they, was laying they were underneath there. there. Yeah. Hmm. There's stuff everywhere. I know. Yeah. Where people have tried to shore it all up over mm -hmm. the years mm -hmm. and keep all these utilities under under them. It's been quite interesting of a dig. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>